Hi, welcome to this Court Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the tally charge practice questions. In this video, we're going to focus on the video solutions to the practice questions, but if you need any extra help on tally charts, if you go to Court Maths and go to the videos and worksheets section, video 321 is the video on tally charts. Alternatively, if you could scan this QR code. But in this video, we're going to focus on the video solutions to the practice questions, so let's get started. Okay, question number one. Question number one, it says, the tally chart shows some information about the number of cruise ships that visit a port in January, February, and March. And we've got a column for tally, and we've got a column for frequency. And as you can see here, we've got this row is January, this row is February, and this row is March. Now, February's been completed for us. So we can see there's one, two, three, four tally marks, and the frequency is four. We've got to fill in this frequency, and we've got to fill in this tally, because the question says complete the tally chart. So let's start off with this frequency here. So in terms of January, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So the total frequency for January is 17. So that means that 17 cruise ships visited the port in January. In terms of March, we need to complete the tally. So we're going to do nine. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, and then five going across or diagonally, however you wish to do it. And then another four. So that's going to be, that's five. So six, seven, eight, nine. And that's it. So five plus four is equal to nine. And that's it. So we've completed the tally chart. Okay, question number two. Question number two says a teacher asks her student their favorite color. And here are their replies. So we've got green, yellow, red, red, blue, and so on. And then all together, there's 15 students because there's five answers in each row and there's three rows. So that's 15 all together. So that's quite useful to just check our answer at the end to know that they're all going to add up to 15. Okay, so we've been asked to complete the tally chart. So we've got green. So let's cross that one off and do green. Then we've got yellow. So that's yellow. Then red. So red. Then another red, so that's another red there. Blue, so blue, yellow, yellow, blue, blue, green, green, blue, 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 green, green, blue. So we've got four, so another one's going to be five, so it's going to cross, that's five. And then blue, blue, and then another blue, another blue, and another blue. That's it. So we've got here for blue, the frequency would be five plus three, that's eight. In terms of green, that's three. In terms of red, that's two. And in terms of yellow, that's two. Now altogether, as we've seen, there was 15 of them. So let's just check. Eight plus three is 11, plus another two is 13, plus another two is 15. So that's it, the total frequency is 15. And that's it, we've completed the tally chart. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number three. So question number three says, Anna lists the flavors of ice cream bought by each customer one day. Here are the results. So these are the flavors of ice cream bought by the customers in one day. And we've got chocolate, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and so on. And let's just see how many there are. So there's four in each row, and there's one, two, three, four, five rows. Five times four is 20. So there's 20 answers all together. And the question says to complete the table to show Anna's results. So we need to complete this tally chart. So we've got chocolate, so we'll do chocolate. And then vanilla, so we'll go down and do vanilla. Uh, then we've got chocolate and we'll just carry on so chocolate that's another chocolate there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of these now quite quickly so I'm just going to skip forward Okay, so I've done all the tallies. Now let's fill in the frequency column. So chocolate that's five and another one that's six Mint there's four there for mint Strawberry, that's five plus another three, that's eight. And then vanilla, that's two. And let's just check they add together to be 20. Six plus four is equal to 10, plus eight is equal to 18, plus two is equal to 20. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next part, part B. So part B says, which of the flavors was the most popular? So we're looking for the most popular flavor. So that's gonna be the one with the highest frequency. So the frequencies are six, four, eight, and two. So eight, that's strawberry. So strawberry was the most popular flavor. So let's write that down, strawberry. Okay, and then part C. Part C says, which of the flavors was the least popular? So that's gonna be the one with the lowest frequency. So you can see only two people bought vanilla ice cream. So the vanilla is the least popular flavor. So let's write that down, vanilla. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number four. So question number four, we've got this tally chart. We've got days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And it says the number of trees planted in orchard is recorded in the table below. So nine trees were planted on Monday and so on. And part A says complete the frequency column. So we need to complete this frequency column. So in terms of Tuesday, that's five, 10, 15. So that's 15 were planted on Tuesday. In terms of Wednesday, five, 10, 12. 12 were planted on Wednesday. Thursday, that's five and of one, that's six. And then Friday, three. So we've completed the frequency column. 
Okay, and then part B. Part B says calculate the total number of trees planted. So we want to find out how many trees were planted all together. So that means we need to add together the frequencies. So we need to add together this column here. We need to do 9 plus 15 plus 12 plus 6 plus 3. So let's do that. 9 plus 15 is equal to 24, plus another 12 is 36, plus another 6 would be 42, plus 3 is 45. So that means that 45 trees were planted. And that's it. So how many trees were planted? 45. Part C says how many more trees were planted on Wednesday than Friday? So we want to see how many more trees were planted on Wednesday than Friday. So let's write down how many trees were planted on Wednesday and Friday. So on Wednesday, 12 trees were planted, and on Friday, 3 trees were planted. So that's 12 on Wednesday and 3 on Friday. We want to see how many more were planted on Wednesday than Friday. So we just need to take these away. So we're going to do 12 take away 3 is equal to 9. There was 9 more trees planted on Wednesday than Friday. So the answer is 9. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number five. So question number five says, Roscoe works in a leisure centre and he makes this tally and frequency chart that shows the activities that customers choose. So the we were chosen, badminton, going to the gym, swimming or tennis. And we've been asked to write two criticisms of Roscoe's tally and frequency chart. So we need to think of two things that are wrong with this tally and frequency chart. Okay, so let's have a look at it with weird activity. Yeah, that makes sense. Badminton, gym, swimming and tennis. Frequency. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Then we've got tally. These two headings are the wrong way around. It should be tally and then frequency. So these headings are the wrong way around. It should go activity, tally and then frequency. So let's write that down. And that's it. I've just written down the columns are labelled incorrectly. It should be activity, tally and then frequency. Okay, criticism two. So we need to think of another criticism. Well, let's have a look at this. So badminton, there's five there, and that's five. Gym, well, there's five, ten, eleven. That's right. Swimming, five, and another three. That's eight altogether. But the, the frequency or the number written beside it is seven. Well, there's eight tallies and seven in the frequency column. So those numbers don't match up. And then finally, we've got tennis is four and four. That's right. But here, swimming, there's something is wrong here with the tallies and the frequency. They're not the same. So let's write that down. And that's it, I've just written criticism to the tally and the frequency for the swimming row do not match. So if we have a look at it, the tally and the frequency for swimming don't match. We've got eight and seven, and that shouldn't be the case. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, so question number six. Question number six says, Hannah's got a tub of brown, orange, pink, and red counters, and the tally chart shows information about the color of the counters. So we've got brown, orange, pink, and red, and we've got the tally, and then we've got the frequency column. And the part A says, what fraction of the counters are pink? So you want to find what fraction of the counters are pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the frequency column to begin with. So brown, there's five brown counters. In terms of orange, 5, 10, 15, 19, so 19 orange counters. Pink, that's three. And red, that's 5, 10, 13. So there's 13 red counters. And then part A says, what fraction of the counters are pink? So let's work out how many counters there are all together. So we need to add these together and see what we get. So we've got 5 plus 19, that's 24, plus another 3, that's 27, and plus 13, that would be 40. So there's 40 counters all together. We want to find what fraction of the counters are pink. So there's three pink counters, so it's going to be three fortieths. So three fortieths of the counters are pink, three out of the 40. And that's it. Okay, part B. Part B says, Hannah says that over half of the counters are orange. Is she correct? Explain your answer. Now, there's 40 counters all together. So if we take our 40 and we divide it by 2, 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20. So half of the counters would be 20. And let's see if over half of them, so over half of the two counters are orange. So have we got 21 or more orange counters? So let's have a look and see. So orange, there's only 19 orange counters, and that's not over half of them. Half of them is 20. That's actually less than half. So let's write that down. And that's it, I've written down no, half of the counters is 20, but she's only got 19 orange counters. And that's it. Okay, next. Okay, so question number seven. Question number seven says, Molly records the number of text messages she receives on each of 18 days. So over 18 days, she records the number of text messages on each of those days. So she gets seven on day one, nine text messages on day two, and so on. So let's complete the tally chart. So seven, seven, nine, 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 it, it, and so on. And I'm just going to go through this a bit more quickly now. 
and that's it I've just completed the tally column and I've written in the frequencies as well so on three days she received six text messages on another three days she received seven text messages she received eight text messages on three days nine text messages on seven days and ten text messages on two days okay and then part B part B says write down the modes so remember the mode is the most common or the most often now if we have a look at our list of numbers we can see that's nine or if we have a look at our tally chart our frequency table that's going to be the one with the highest frequency and as you can see nine occurs seven times so it occurs the most it's got the highest frequency so that means that nine is the mode that's the mode nine Okay, and then part C. Part C says work out the range. That's the largest value, take away the smallest value. So the largest number of text messages she received in one day was 10, and the lowest number she received in one day was six. So to work out the range, we just need to do 10, take away six. So we're gonna do 10, subtract six, is equal to four. So the range of the number of text messages that she received would be four. And again, you could go up to the list if you wanted to and see the largest number is 10, well, it's two tens, but 10 is the largest, and six is the smallest, and 10 take away six is four okay next okay let's have a look at our next question question number 18 so question number 18 says a class of 20 students completed a test and the test is marked out of 50 marks so there's 50 marks available and the scores are recorded below so these are their scores we've got 34 marks 10 marks 19 marks and so on and part a says complete the tally chart and frequency column in the chart below so Okay, so we've got 34, so that's going to be 34. That's going to be in this category here because this is 31 to 40, so 34 would be there. 10, well, 1 to 10 marks, that'll be there. 19, well, that's going to be in here, so there. 41, so that's going to be there, 41 to 50 marks. 22, that's going to be in this category here. 18, that's going to be here. 28 would be here. 24 would go there as well. 50, well, that's going to be this category. 48, well, that's going to be there as well. 38, that's going to be in this category. 14, that's in this one. 23, that's there. 30, that's going to be in that group as well. 38, that's in the next group. 27 is there again. 21 is in there. 43 would be this category here. 25 would be that one. And finally, 39 would be in this one. And then let's complete our frequency columns. That's going to be 1, 3, 8, 4, and 4. Okay, next, part A. Part A says, how many students scored between 21 and 30 marks? So 21 and 30 marks, that's this category here. And as you can see, eight students scored between 21 and 30 marks, inclusive, so including 21 and 30. So how many students score were in this category? The answer is eight. And then part C. Part C says, what fraction of the students scored between 41 and 50 marks? So in the question, it says, altogether, there were 20 students altogether. Now, you could add up the frequencies, and you would get that's equal to 20 as well. Let's just check it. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 plus 8 is equal to 12, plus 4 is equal to 16, plus 4 is equal to 20. So there's 20 students altogether, so there's 20 altogether, I'm going to put that on the denominator, and score between 41 and 50 marks, so 41 and 50 marks, 4 students score between 41 and 50, so that's 4 twentieths. And you could cancel this down, both of these numbers are divisible by 2, they're also divisible by 4, so you could divide both of them by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 20 divided by 4 is 5, and that's equal to a fifth. So what fraction of the students score between 41 and 50 marks? The answer would be 1 fifth. Now if you wrote down 4 20 if that's fine because the question didn't say you had to cancel down the fraction. I just tend to cancel down if I can. Okay, next, question number 9. Question number 9 says the age of 24 tennis players are recorded below. So these are the ages of 24 tennis players. So we've got a 25-year-old, an 18-year-old, a 32-year-old and so on. And we've been asked to complete this tally chart and frequency chart below. So we've been asked to complete this chart. So 25 would go here. 18 would go in there, 32 would go in that one, 19 would go there, 39 would go here, 35 would go there, 22 would go there, 27, there, 24, there, 23, well let's go across that, 38 would go there, 19 would go there, 23 would go there, 25 would go there, 31 would go there, so let's go across. 42 would go there. 20 would go there. 27 would go there. 34 would go there. 15 would go across there. 31 would go there. 26 would go here. 43 would go there. And finally, 29 would go there. So in terms of the frequencies, that would be 5, 10, 7, and 2. 
And so we've got our frequencies. Let's just check that. 5 plus 10 is equal to 15, plus 7 is equal to 22, plus 2 is equal to 24. And the question says the age of 24 tennis players. So that's great. And then part B. Part B says write down the modal age interval. So that's the age interval that happens the most, the one with the highest frequency. So as you can see, that would be 21 to 30. So 21 to 30 is the most common age interval. And so that's the modal age interval. Okay, then part C. Okay, and then part C. Part C says the tennis players chosen at random from the group. So remember in the group there's 24 tennis players. And the question says write down the probability that the players age between 31 and 40. So let's find out how many players were aged between 31 and 40. So 31 to 40, the seven of those, so seven people are aged between 31 and 40. So it's seven out of 24, seven 24ths. So seven out of 24, that's the probability. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our last question, question number 10. So question number 10 says, Florence is saving money for her holiday, and in total she's got 30 banknotes. So she's got 30 banknotes, and the table shows some information about the banknotes. So we've got this table with some information. And actually, we can fill in some of the values here. We can see £10 notes. She's got 5, 10, 13. So she's got 13 £10 notes. She's got two £50 notes, and we've got this missing information here for £20. And the question says, work out how much money Florence has saved for her holiday. So we need to work out how much money she's saved using these banknotes. So we've got that she's got nine £5 notes, 13 £10 notes, and two £50 notes. And the question says she's got 30 banknotes altogether. So let's add these values up and see how many banknotes are 5, 10, and £50 notes. And then the rest of them would have to be £20 notes. So let's do that. 9 plus 13 plus 2. That's a calculator question, so you could do this in your calculator if you wanted to, or you could just add it up. 9 plus 13 is 22, plus 2 would be 24. So that means you've got 24 banknotes there, there, and there all together. So there's 30, so 30 take away 24 is equal to 6. So that means you've got 6 left. So there's going to be 6 20-pound notes, and let's do the tally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then the question says, work out how much money Florence has saved for her holiday. So she's got 9 £5 notes so nine five pound notes nine multiplied by five pound nine times five is equal to 45 pound that's a calculator question so you could do it in your calculator if you wanted to or you could just use your times tables now there's 13 10 pound notes so 13 multiplied by 10 pound is equal to 130 pound the six 20 pound notes so six multiplied by 20 is equal to 120 pound and then finally 250 pound notes so two multiplied by 50 pound is equal to 100 pound so that's how much she's got on five pound notes 45 pound she's got 130 pound in 10 pound notes 120 pound in 20 pound notes and 100 pound in 50 pound notes now the question says how much money does florence have altogether how much money she saved for her holiday so we just need to add these up and it's a calculator question so you could add this up in your calculator if you wanted to or you could do four 45 plus 130 plus 120 plus 100 and let's see what we get 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 5 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 plus 2 is equal to 9 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 so she has saved 395 pound for her holiday and that's it so if you got that well done and that's it so these have been the video solutions for the tally charts practice questions i really hope you find this video useful if you have found it useful please like it and subscribe to the youtube channel if you need any extra help on tally charts if you go to court maths and scroll down to the videos and worksheet section and go down to video number 321 there's a dedicated video to there on tally charts and um, but if you have found this useful again please like it and please subscribe to the youtube channel thank you cheers bye